Hi, I'm Peter Blakey. I'm with Own Equipment, and today I'd like to show you the Vactor Impact. It's a new model with the new controls of the 2100i, but in, put on the smaller machine. First, I'd like to point out that the truck has a non-CDL class requirement if you need it. Otherwise, they can also put it on the larger GVWR systems, truck systems as well. Um, this happens to be a Freightliner, so it's a nice size. Uh, the reason this truck has been scaled to this, this particular one is going to a customer, is for going in the smaller, tighter communities that are hard to get into. So this particular truck has a three and a half yard debris body, a 500 gallons of fresh water on it, and uh, 500 feet of rotter hose. So it can go out and it can do a job in the sewer or the storm water or wherever you need it to go in those smaller, tighter communities. It's perfect answer for the, the often question I get as a salesperson is, hey, do they make a smaller truck? Well, here it is. And for the fleet managers and the operators, the controls are the same as the larger trucks. Okay, so we'll walk down this way a little bit, talk some more about it. The, uh, the boom on this truck doesn't, it's simple. It just has a large telescoping arm that goes out and the hose on the end gets shorter and you keep adding pipes to it, okay? But it's simple. No moving sliding in and out parts. Easy to diagnose if you have some reason you got a clog in it, okay? Um, this truck has a positive displacement blower. It is what we call 15 inch and makes 2100 cubic feet per minute of airflow. That truck will pull the air through that six inch hose into the debris body at about 160 miles an hour. So it's a pretty fast and it works well. Um, the water system on this truck the advantage of that is they've actually taken the Vector rotter pump, scaled it down. So the robust design with the single action piston moving back and forth, one side oil, one side water, and the five moving parts, the check valves letting the water in and out, is on this truck as well. So you have the long-term uh, water pump that lasts you at least 10 years. And uh, you know the rest of the design that Vector puts into it as well is gonna hold up to your expectations and the best return on investment. Um, Showing a little bit more about this, uh, there's an added feature on this truck. This is the Vanguard um, decontamination system for fighting off pathogens. Uh, a lot of the, it came up very popular this last year with the change in our, um, our uh, COVID year. And I've been putting them on for years in the, in the regular sewer trucks, but now other people are asking for them just to decontaminate their workspaces and stuff. So that is using, uh, as the reel comes back out of the sewer, we're decontaminating and cleaning that off. And we also have a handgun and the reel on top I can use to wash off things around me, mantle, toolboxes, stuff like that. Some more items here. These are the water valves. I'm gonna direct my water to wherever I want it to go, my handgun, my reel, so other things like that. There's little things that's standing here. Um, next thing is the uh, water tanks on this truck are 500 gallons of water, I mentioned that, but they're, uh, Aluminum, they're made at Vactor, and they're warranted for 10 years, okay? Uh, the debris body is three and a half yards. They also refer to it as 675 gallons, and that's because they compete, or this truck competes with a lot of trailer-mounted ones that are towable. But this one has a far superior vacuum system than a trailer-mounted one. And along with all the other options added, it's hands down superior. Okay, we'll come around to the back. Um, this unusual uh, hose here is actually inner body connect. I can fill this debris body with water and add it to my jetting capacity. So my 500 gallons of fresh, I now added 675 of, of water as well. So it's an inner body connect. That's what that feature is. And then my door, it is very similar to the other Vactor doors. It is a design that's been around for at least for years, uh, over 10 years. And it is the uh, exposed version of this plus model. Two cylinders moving up and down, robust steel heavy door with a cylinder in the middle that sets the pins like a bank vault. So when I close it, pins it, doesn't leak, works every time. Okay, there's a few other options on this. This happens to have an arrow board and some lights and some other features. A lot of people like to have their lane safety if they're working in the lanes or on the side of the road. They want to make sure they're safe and directing the uh, traffic away from them. And that's what is needed. And the Vactor can install this and we have the controls in the cab. So before the guy even gets out, he's got it all set up safely. Come on over here. Uh, you can get a better shot of this. This is the end of the water pump. They mount it in the back, almost behind this bumper. If you've been looking at other videos, you've seen the ones with the mounted on the side. This is the ones mounted in the back. So that simplest, simplistic, but powerful and robust design is 
is uh, in, in action there. All right, um, further on this side, when our air gets sucked into the debris body, it separates out, goes up into a tube and into this cyclone, right? It's called cyclone, and it separates the air from the dirt, and the fine particles end up in this where I can just dump them, and along with dumping out the back when I dump that. And then this is my final filter. My final filter on this one has a uh, five micron washable filter. There's a like a fabric and metal filter in there that I can take out and I can wash it just with a garden hose, let it dry, put it back in. Protects the investment in the blower. It also allows you to dig dry if you need to, which you know occasionally you have to. If you don't want to add water to nested utilities, then that would be the perfect place. Um, to use this type of application. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close that up. Vactor tried to think of everything on this truck. It's kind of a, the perfect small package truck. And even the pipe racks, which are normally on the side of the truck on their other models, are right here on the side so you can just pull them right off at, at height. They're, they're anticipating you being in a tight area where you can't fold down racks because you might be into a tree or something else, a bus stop or who knows what, and they want to make sure that you're able to get the pipes off, okay? Um, toolboxes, these are all things that can be added. Um, this one happens to be the back of cab toolbox, and it's, well, unfortunately it's locked, but the, uh, the idea is you have plenty of storage for other things that you might use for tools for grabbing things in, in deep holes and whatnot. And with that, that brings us up to the front here one more time. Uh, the familiar side of the hose reel, this one does rotate, okay? I can rotate it. My controls are the same control panel that was used on the 2100i combination truck, the 2100i catch basin truck, and now on this small Vactor Impact. So this is the same control station. Same water controls, screen interaction, vacuum controls, and boom control. This one happens to be a hose reel. It's called pay in and pay out, but it's the hose reel running it out and in. So with that said, it's, it's a very simple, allows your fleet to be standardized, but still gives you that performance where you have a smaller truck and a larger truck and you need to send it out for the job specific thing, but they know how to walk out and run it. So it's a nice feature. A um, Couple other things. Uh, this customer had us put the hose reel on the front and a hose reel on the side. You can customize your trucks any way you want. There's no, no set pattern, but we have lots of options to do that for you. And every time I go out with guys in the field and, and do demos, I, they always tell me about their, where they want something and Vactor accommodates. It's nice, very nice company to, to represent.